so yesterday we have started solving the problem uh, lte system characterized by the differential equations first problem uh, find the impulse response of the system the characteristics of the lte system described by the differential equations okay so how to find the impulse impulse response of the system we must derive first h of j omega term h of j omega equal to y of j omega divided by x of j omega so in the given equation take the fourier transform of the equation so d square y of t by dt square fourier transform result is j omega square y of j omega d y of t by dt meaning j omega y of j omega y of t y of j omega x of t x of j omega okay using the properties it's a direct formula so once you find the fourier transform of the given differential equation separate your y of j omega term and x of j omega now y by x y of j omega divided by x of j omega this term will go right side okay x of j omega will come left side so y by x so 2 divided by j omega square plus 6 j omega plus 8 we have to find the impulse response of the system that means inverse fourier transform of h of j omega that becomes h of t so we don't have direct formula for this format so use the partial fractional method i think you are familiar with that partial fractional method in the mathematics also uh, there are two simple poles available in the denominator so a by one term plus b by another term now solve this find the value for a and b and substitute now I look at this h of j omega expression so this is in the form of one divided by a plus j omega format okay one by a plus j omega format so one by a plus j omega inverse fourier transform is e power minus a t u t okay so now if you apply the inverse fourier transform e power minus 4 t u of t minus one is the constant here one is the constant j omega plus 2 e power minus 2 t u of t so this is impulse response of the system right so i mentioned in the last class if any two terminology given we can find the third one h of j omega equal to y of j omega divided by x of j omega h of j omega is impulse response or here it is called as transfer function transfer function y of j omega called as response or output Fourier transform of y of t is y of j omega a response of the system or output of the system x of j omega x of j omega represent fourier transform of input of the system suppose if you want to calculate y of j omega that is equal to h of j omega x of j omega right if impulse response given input to the system given then we can find output of the system or response of the system or find the input of the system provided the impulse response transfer function and uh, x of j omega so that is equal to y of j omega divided by h of j omega okay so h of j omega we can compute with the help of the given differential equation directly y of j omega we can able to calculate if h of j omega and x of t given x of t given we can find x of j omega then substitute here or from the given differential equation h of j omega we calculate right if response y of t provided then x of j omega we can calculate so these three relationship you should remember second option in this particular problem what is the response of the system 
if x of t equal to t e power minus 2 t u t. Response of the system meaning what is the output of the system? Please remember the terminology. Response of the system represents y of t. What is y of t? If x of t equal to t e power minus 2 t u t. In the same problem. Okay. So what I told you, y of t, if you want to calculate y of t, we must obtain this expression first. Then inverse Fourier transform of y of j omega, we will get y of t. Correct? So now, the question is, what is y of t? x of t is given. Right, first step, y of j omega. y of j omega equal to h of j omega into x of j omega. <laughs> x of t equal to t e power minus 2 t u of t. The Fourier transform of this signal x of j omega formula I have written here t e power minus a t u t Fourier transform formula 1 divided by a plus j omega square 1 divided by a plus j omega square so 1 divided by where a is 2 2 plus j omega square so x of j omega also we have calculated now So, see the expression for h of j omega in the yesterday class. h of j omega equal to two divided by two divided by j omega square plus six j omega plus eight. So this is h of j omega. What is h of j omega? H of j omega equal to y by x. So now if you want to y only, bring this x of j omega term right. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the same step again. Y by x equal to y of j omega divided by x of j omega. So this we have derived already, that is, 2 divided by j omega plus 4 j omega plus 2. Now the question is how to find y of t? To find y of t, first find y of j omega. y of j omega equal to 2 times of j omega plus 4 j omega plus 2. So this x of j omega left side denominator so right side it is in numerator okay now substitute x of j omega value x of j omega value already we calculated with the help of the formula so expression for y of j omega now j omega plus 4 j omega plus 2 and then 1 divided by 2 plus j omega square. So this is your y of j omega now. So if we find the inverse Fourier transform of this y of j omega, you will get y of t. That is the question. Okay. So how to do the partial fraction? This term is now, this is in the form of uh, j omega plus 2 cube okay j omega plus 2 cube into j omega plus 4 so how to do the partial fraction if one poles repeated more than one time that is j omega plus 2 that terms the order is 3 now so how to do the partial fraction now have you studied in the mathematics m3 last semester or ongoing semester 
please respond to me so a divided by j omega plus 2 plus b divided by j omega plus 2 square plus c divided by j omega plus 2 q okay and then j omega plus 4 If j omega plus 2 square is available, then j omega plus 2, j omega square. The order 3, so order 1 and order 2, order 3, all the combination you should write. So from this, find a, b, c, d and substitute in the formula. So how to solve this partial fraction method? To keep your uh, two left side, that is y of j omega equal to two by. So the denominator terms uh, bring it to right side. So what is the result now? A. I'm going to multiply this particular step here, 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 and there also. So j omega plus 2 cube is there. So here 1 j omega plus 2. So j omega plus 2 square. And j omega plus 4. Right? B j omega plus 2 square term is there. Here cube is there. So j omega plus 2 is the remaining term. And j omega plus 4. C. So the cube, cube will be cancelled. j omega plus 4 plus d j omega plus 4 plus 4 term will be cancelled so j omega plus 2 q1 now how to solve this so if we substitute a value j omega value minus 4 if we substitute j omega equal to minus 4 what will happen substitute j omega equal to minus 4 in this equation in the equation number 1 so 2 equal to j this term 0 this term 0 this term 0 d term only present so j omega minus 4 minus 4 plus 2 minus 2 minus 2 cube so you will get minus 8 minus 8 d so d equal to minus 1 by 4 right b equal to minus 1 by 4 similarly substitute j omega equal to minus 2 so minus 2 meaning d term will be cancelled a b d correct because the plus 2 is there minus if you substitute a b d will be cancelled so 2 equal to c minus 2 plus 4 4 minus 2 2 so 2 by 2 c equal to 1 okay so by substituting j omega term the d value c value we can calculate it. so what about a value b value So, how to do a value, b value? We have to expand the equation number one completely. Then compare the coefficient of j omega cube both sides, the coefficient of j omega square on both sides, and uh, coefficient of j omega and constant. So, I am rewriting the equation number once again here. 2 equal to a a plus b whole square j omega square plus 4 plus 
2 j omega that is 2 into 2 4 j omega right again i have to multiply with j omega plus plus b j omega j omega j omega square j omega and 4 so plus 4 j omega plus multiply with 2 2 j omega 2 times of 4 8 So C J omega plus four only plus D A plus B whole cube A plus B whole cube. So A cube first A cube plus B cube eight plus three A square B three A square B meaning two. So three times up to six plus three a b square three a b square two into two four four times of three twelve. Okay. Now compare j omega cube on both sides. Still, uh, first term we have to again multiply. So, what is the result for the first term? J omega square J omega J omega cube plus four J omega square. Okay, next term four J omega four into four sixteen plus. 4j omega square, correct? Thus, 16j omega. So this is the actual expansion of the first term. Second term already we expanded, so no issue. Plus 4j omega. Plus two j omega plus eight plus c into j omega plus four plus d into j omega cube plus eight plus six j omega square plus twelve j omega. Okay. Now compare compare j omega cube coefficient on both sides. Let us assume this is equation number two. Compare j omega cube coefficient on both sides. So here left side is constant only available, so zero. One j omega cube coefficient a. Then last term j omega cube coefficient plus d. so a plus d equal to zero. Okay. So already uh, we have the d value. Yes, d value. If you substitute d there, you will get a. Okay, you will get a value. Here. Next, step. compare compare j omega square. Coefficient on both side. So left side constant two only available. What j omega square here four plus four, so eight a. Correct. First step. I <laughs> get eight a. Next. J omega square now. So here you'll one term is there plus b. Okay. Eight j. Eight j plus b. Then here six is there. Six d.
right? So next to compare coefficient of j omega on both sides. Compare coefficient of j omega on both sides. So d value minus one by four. So d value minus one by four. Substitute d equal to minus one by four. So zero equal to a minus one by four. You will get a equal to one by four. Right? A equal to one by four. Done. Next. So in this equation, a value already we got it. C value, d value already we got it. We need only b value. Now substitute here. A equal to one by four. And uh, t equal to minus one by four. So zero eight times of one by four plus b plus six d six minus one by four. So one two times of eight two three times so zero equal to two plus b minus three by two correct two two three two so now simplify this. B equal to minus two plus three by two. Minus four plus three divided by two. So value for B now minus one by two. B value minus one by two. Right. So A B C D. So all the value we have calculated. Now directly substitute in this equation a value, b value, c value, d value, and then inverse Fourier transform. Then you will get your y out. One by four. I'll write down here. One by four. B value minus one by two. C value one, C value one, E value minus one. Now write down y of j omega equal to one by four, one by four divided by j omega plus two. B value minus one by two divided by J omega plus two square. That is B value. C value one divided by J omega plus two cube. T value minus one by four. T value minus one by four. So minus one by four divided by J omega plus four. Okay. Now we apply the Fourier transform formula directly. Find the inverse Fourier transform. Find the inverse Fourier transform of equation number three. So sorry, four. So y of j omega become y of t. One by four is the constant. One divided by j omega plus two e power minus two t dot u of t. Minus one by two constant. One divided by j omega plus two whole square. Formula is t e power minus a t into u of t. So minus one by ah uh, sorry plus one. One divided by j omega plus two q. Okay. 
one constant one divided by j omega plus a whole cube. Please remember the formula t square. T square. T square into e power minus two t. T square by two. C value one. Okay. T square by two e power minus two t into e of t. For this, one divided by j omega plus a whole cube. The inverse Fourier transform result is t square by two. T square by two e power minus a t u t. One divided by j omega plus a whole square t into e power minus a t u t. At last step, one by four, one by j omega plus four e power minus four t dot. So this is your result. So partial fractional method that is common for both your mathematics as well as signals and system for solving that particular term. Okay. So you have to remember the Fourier transform formula. e power minus a t u of t one divided by a plus j omega t e power minus a t u of t one divided by a plus j omega square So one divided by a plus j omega q. You will get maximum order three. So don't worry. So remember the formula t square by two e power minus a t. Not more than three. Max three also. But our case only you will be getting. So with the help of this formula, you can directly write down your y of t by finding. Inverse Fourier transform of equation number four. Okay. So, any doubt in this particular procedure? So, similarly, many problems are there. Any differential equation given? Any differential equation provided to you? Y by X relation we will get directly. That is your H of J omega. From this relation, if X of T given, we may find Y of T. If Y of T given, we may find X of T. So, any doubt in this particular problem? Why everybody keeping quiet? In all the classes, whenever if I ask something, nobody responding in the classes. Are you there in the classroom or not? Yes, sir. This problem a uh, little bit uh, bigger. So only the uh, partial fractional method will take some time. Remaining the concept is simple only. For solving to find your coefficients will take some time because you are getting in the order of three. Experiment number two. Sorry, example two. The LTE system frequency. Uh, the LTE system is described by the following differential equation. The characteristics of the LTE system described by the following differential equation. 
find the frequency response of the system. Find the frequency response of the system. So what is the term frequency response? That is nothing but your H of J omega, that's it. Okay. Remember the word frequency response of the system or transfer function of the system, both are same. You have to find out H of J omega, that's it. No need to find the inverse Fourier transform of H of J omega. If impulse response of the system, find the impulse response of the system, then after H of J omega, again you have to find H of T. So in this example, we are going to derive only H of J omega. So consider the given equation as one, apply the Fourier transform, D square Y of T by DT square formula J omega square Y of J omega. Y of D Y of T by DT formula j omega into y of j omega 6 y of t fourier transform y of j omega x of t fourier transform x of j omega now take y of j omega outside j omega square plus 5j omega plus 6 equal to 2x of j omega. Transfer function h of j omega or frequency response of the system h equal to y by x. Transform of output of the system to transform of input of the system. Okay. So you will get 2 divided by j omega square plus 5j omega plus 6. This is your result. Find the impulse response of the system. Then using the partial fractional method, factorize this 2 by j omega square plus 5j omega plus 6. OK. And apply inverse Fourier transform, you will get h of t. So in the previous example, H of T I have done. For the given X of T, we found Y of T. Both model problem we have done in the previous problem. So this is simple one only. Third one, because one method is pending for us. Example three. H of J omega equal to one divided by three plus J omega. The frequency response of the system given. And the response of the system Y of T equal to minus.
can you hear me yes sir sorry power problem okay. so, um third type h of j omega provided or or from the given differential equation you have to find out your h of j omega please remember either this h of j omega directly available in your problem in your question or you have to derive h of j omega from the given differential equation as like the previous step so response of the system given e power minus 3t ut minus e power minus 4t ut now the question is find the input find the input signal x of t okay so h of j omega equal to y of j omega divided by x of j omega okay so from this relationship before finding x of t first to find x of j omega that is y of j omega divided by h of j omega from y of t find y of j omega y of t equal to e power minus 3t ut something like that given so y of j omega e power minus 3t ut 1 divided by j omega plus 3 minus 1 divided by j omega plus 4 this is y of j omega from y of t okay so now simplify this y of j omega first before substitution y of j omega equal to 1 by j omega plus 3 minus 1 divided by j omega plus 4 cross multiply j omega plus 4 minus j omega minus 3 divided by j omega plus 3 j omega plus 4 so it will be cancel 4 minus 3 so y of j omega equal to 1 divided by j omega plus 3 j omega plus 4 right so substitute this y of j omega here h of j omega already given in the problem therefore x of j omega equal to y of j omega 1 divided by j omega plus 4 j omega plus 3 divided by divided by h of j omega h of j omega given in the problem j omega plus 3 so if it is go on the numerator this term this term will be cancel we'll get 1 divided by j omega plus 4 so find the inverse fourier transform x of j omega becomes x of t 1 divided by j omega plus 4 inverse fourier transform e power minus 4 u of t so you have to please remember either differential equation given obtain your transfer function h of j omega like the previous two problems or h of j omega directly provided then it is easy for you provided with h of j omega y of t in this example we have calculated what is or we have found what is x of t actual input to the system okay. so many problems are there but the formats are same 
So some more problems are there. We will discuss those problems in the next class.